legendary person that just reflects the city of Pittsburgh and our family and his synagogue. Judah Samet was a survivor with quite the incredible story. After surviving a Nazi concentration camp, he moved here to Pittsburgh. And then he survived the deadliest act of anti-Semitism ever on American soil, of course, the 2018 mass shooting at Tree of Life Synagogue. Yesterday, Samet passed away at the age of 84. And Channel 11 Sally Kirkland is live in Squirrel Hill after speaking with Samet's family and finding out how Pittsburgh's Jewish community is remembering him. Talia? Lisa and David in front of the Tree of Life Synagogue. There are 11 memorials, each one telling a story of a person who died on that tragic day. But for Mr. Judah Summit, a survivor of that tragedy, he spent his last years telling his story of survival, a story that he wanted to one day tell in court. His nephew now reflecting on what that testimony meant to him. Probably the most important part of his legacy is his family. His synagogue was his family. And even though that occurred almost four years ago, um, he, you know, it has an impact on all of us. It's not something that should occur. 84-year-old Judah Summit's entire life was a story of endurance right up until his death yesterday from complications of stomach cancer. A Holocaust survivor, he spent much of his adult life sharing his experiences with students about his life inside the concentration camp, sharing how his mother reunited his family and how the value of family and faith are virtues that guided his life. So on October 27, 2018, a day of worship, his loved ones knew he he would be with his synagogue family. Fortunately, and out of character for Mr. Summit, he was running late and had just parked when the first shots began. Friend and director of the Holocaust Center says even though Mr. Summit was unharmed, the tragedy impacted him deeply, but again, he wanted to share his story with his opportunity in court. He felt that it was his duty to share his life experiences, so he very generously shared terribly painful memories Mr. Smith's funeral, Mr. Smith's funeral services will be held on Thursday and they are asking anyone who wants to send gifts to please donate to the Tree of Life Synagogue rebuilding campaign. Live here in Squirrel Hill, I'm Tyra Kirkland, Channel 11 News.